Oh god. Oh, oh god. My god. Oh gosh. my god. Oh my god, that was for us. Okay, Wait. now I've got to take not that one, but the next one. Okay, let's... So, let's try that again. We've landed in Lisbon. It's a beautiful 18 degrees. It's meant to clear up later. It's still, it's kind of like sunny cloudy at the moment, but the weather's meant to be getting better uh, in a little bit. We only have to drive one hour to get to Emporio, so that's going to be really good. I'm going to go left here. The drive is already going spotless. I was looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, as I told you guys before, Ava hasn't seen Emporio in a long time, so I'm curious to see what she's going to say and what she thinks. And also, this is the furthest Ava's ever been from home. So, <laughs> since since we've been hanging out, like I've been to London, I've been to Spain, I've been to Lisbon. Thank you. Portugal. Yeah, so let's we're just adding a few countries to Ava's list. Yeah. And, and then we're going to I have a feeling that. this is not the last one. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> and also I've also a feeling this is not my angle. But yeah, so we're going to keep going. We're going to start uh, eating up the kilometers a little bit because I'm excited to see them. I'm also we'll, excited to eat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to eat soon. I'm yeah. really hungry. And we'll check back with you guys very soon. Okay. Wall. I feel like I'm like in medieval Portugal. Yeah, especially with this oh. like. Ooh. I will take you. Oh my God, horses! I will take <laughs> you on a horse. I think no matter how old you are, no matter where you are, if you see horses, you have to scream horses. Yeah, we're here. Ooh, oh my God, I recognize okay, it. Okay, warning. There's huge dogs there, but don't be scared of them because they're like quite chilled. This is Antonio. That's the owner. He's riding. I'm not really a fan of dogs. Uh, but the dogs oh, are huge. Up. Okay. Like okay. it's. Very yeah. intimidating. Oh yeah, you God, don't have to like it. make it worse than it is. Yeah, let's tell you I think Shao is getting them ready for us. Oh, bless his little heart. <laughs> okay, we're here, we've arrived. It's amazing weather. I haven't seen my horse in a month and a half, so I'm just gonna get to it. Let's go see him, and Shao is in there as well, waiting for us. So let's go say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Here he is. Hi, Joao. How are you? Nice I'm to see you again. I brought Ava Hello. this time. She's, a, she's here to see you again. I'll be the camera lady. Yes. Yes. Let's see him. Oh my what god. What do you think? You haven't seen him for the longest time, but I already think he looks bigger. I think he's growing up. Well, he was always a big boy, but I feel like there's a little bit more meat on his body, even more. <laughs> yeah. His neck is huge, the withers is huge. <laughs> yeah. Can't really see the backside yet, but we'll get to that later. But I think it's also like the work Zhao has been putting in. Oh, for sure. Been, like really building him up. Yeah. And he's much more even in the neck now. Because yeah. you remember at the beginning he was like, um, he had this big crest here and then it went kind of flat. Yeah. But now it's much more even. He looks really oh, good. Yeah. And I feel like the head is also getting a little bit more white. Yes. Yeah, not that much, but like I see a difference. Hello. This one's very big. <laughs> yeah, well, they're all like, yeah. He's. Is this a Lucy's Yes. It really? Is. Yes. Oh. No, really pretty. Very big. Ah. No. How do you feel seeing him again? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. No, he looks so good. Looks yeah, so you're happy good. with what you're seeing? Yeah, really, really happy. No. Good boy. Okay, so we don't have too much time because Shara has to also ride. So we're gonna get him ready quickly. I brought some things, like always. A <laughs> <laughs> questionable. <laughs> yes. Um, so maybe I can start bandaging. Okay. Um, and if you want, I can take this out. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's not a problem. We'll just get going as well. We'll get straight into it, hey? Yeah. Sure have. So chill without the horses. 
the purchase. The, jo the dog just completely licked me. <laughs> Must be warm. <laughs> yeah. <And a> doggo. <laughs> if I learn those sounds. How do you feel his movement has like um been lately? Do you feel like there's been a change in that Sorry? as well? Like the way he's moving? Yes. Like the walk and stuff? The walk, the walk is much better. Much yeah. Better on the beginning, he's, he's did that kind of awkward walk. Yeah. And then the walk is much better. It looks better now. Yeah. But yeah. even once he's like, because even walking down here is a little stiff. Yeah. But now that he's like on the job, it looks much better. Yeah. And actually now he's at, he have more over truck. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Ah, oh, good boy. Well, the walk to Canada shouldn't be too hard for the future. <laughs> yes. Clap back. I'll look in a second. I just need to do these laces up again. Okay, so Zhao just got on and I'm really curious to see how he's improved over the last month and a half. As Zhao was saying, he's much more forward now. The hind legs are starting to engage a bit more, which is something that he suffered because he was quite stiff in the hind. So I'm curious to see how that's going. Uh, and we're also trying to stretch him more uh, in the neck now, obviously uh, towards the contact, trying to open it up, which was hard before because he was quite excited and he had a lot of energy. So we're kind of harvesting that energy. He's a bit more relaxed now and we're able to really have him over the back and engage in the hind. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. My turn to get on. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Went really well. It yeah, it was good. good. Yeah. It is hot here, so I think he's also a bit hot. But we'll give him a nice shower later. Yeah. Hey. Good boy. Ready? Finally getting on his own horse again. Just time that up. <laughs> When you don't have the connection, and that on the beginning it was harder to get the connection. When you don't have the connection, the horse starts to move like a snake. Yeah. When you have the horse uh, with a better connection on the back, okay, it's much easier to control his direction, and you don't let the horse lean so much left or so much right. Yes. Much, no, much definitely. better.
grip on that hind leg as well every now and then and he yeah. hasn't done that today. Yeah. Just think your hands is just for your talent. Uh, get out to the nose, get out to the nose. Yeah, very nice. Up and then down your head, that's very light. Look to the mirror just for you see the neck. Yeah. He's a little more like a wiggly than last time, but maybe it's also uh, me. Wow. Yeah. In the direction of the heel sword. That's right. Because if you just, when you make a half fold like back and up, you just bring your nose even more back. Just go make your half fold in the direction of the heel sword and then lighter. And then lighter. And then super. Yeah. Very nice. That was the best move. Very nice. Okay. This okay. is nice. That was, very nice. that was good. More nose out, more neck, and the nose more out. Then light. Super light. Super light. Yeah, super light. Very light to the head. There. There is good. Very nice there. It's good to like uh, get back on him and have a feel of everything. I think it's uh, there's a lot I need to work on as well, and I need to get to know him a lot more uh, too. But I think that's also what's going to be really exciting about the journey. But overall, he felt really good. Uh, he didn't really put one foot wrong. Uh, it was more me making all the mistakes, no. <laughs> which is usually the case. Um, so I think we have a lot to learn together still. Uh, and the, the road is still very, very long, but it's exciting to feel how much potential there is in just yeah. how much he listens. Because if you move a little bit or if you're not really there uh, the whole time, he is very quick and he's yeah. uh, moving with the shoulders and stuff, so a lot. Uh, but as Joao was saying, that's both a benefit down the track and then it's going to make it a little bit harder now in the beginning. Yeah. But I'm really happy. He felt really, really good. Good. Yeah. Oh, good boy. showed us uh, a little bit of like all the new buttons that Jirao has been putting in so I really had to think a little bit more about like uh, using my whole body to ride which is something I don't really have to think about too much uh, with my horse Chase because yeah Chase is 10 years old and he knows everything um, so it was a nice little reminder that it's not gonna be you know it's not like you get like a 10 year old horse that everything is already done you really have to put in the work and get to know them and build a little bit of a relationship and, and make sure you both understand each other. It's really important that when it comes to the Netherlands, we, we make sure we build like a relationship with each other uh, to get a better understanding of what we both want and what, uh, what it means when I ask him something and what it means when I say, yeah, good boy, you're on the right track. Uh, so I think we're going to be doing a lot of groundwork, uh, a lot of just quality time uh, to get to know each other. Today he was quite sweet. 
Uh, he was very accommodating with us because we rode for a little bit longer than Joao uh, normally would because he was a little bit excited at first, so we just wanted to work through that a little bit. Uh, but <coughs> overall, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I'm really curious how it's going to go when he comes to the Netherlands and how he's going to kind of take that all in his stride because it is going to be a big thing for him. Uh, it's a long journey to make as well. Uh, so I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait. I can't believe that in just, what is it today? Today's Friday. Yeah. So in three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but you go back to school. I can't, no. I think he's been kicked once by a horse. He seems to be respectful. Mm. Uh, I can't believe that in just three days he's going to be coming to the Netherlands. So I think that's going to be something that I'm really looking forward to. And just at first, no expectations and just get to know each other uh, and have some fun. And I think it's also going to be nice for him to just, he's going to need some time to settle down and get used to everything. And that's what I wanted to have. Yeah. Stop. I've never seen a hat so big. If you oh. no, like, like, take someone else. But. Oh. No, because like it's like the same time as like uh you know the dog at Monica's. Mm -hmm. It's like when you wear a hat with him, and if he doesn't recognize you, that's gonna kill you. <laughs> so maybe that's not the best. Animals idea. are such smart beings. They can feel you. They don't even know you with a helmet on. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we have such great bond. Puts a hat on, unrecognizable. Yeah. <laughs> Just the same way you let a stallion sniff a horse statue. Completely, completely freaking out. It's not a horse. Can you not feel it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's time that we have to say uh, goodbye to Emporio. Uh, I've left him some boots here from back on track and this is what, what we're going to travel him with uh, from... Oh, we have a huge dock in the way. <laughs> but this is what he's going to be wearing whilst he's on the truck uh, to make sure his legs stay um, injury free. Uh, and for the rest, I don't know what else to do. I can't really tell him that I'm going to go, but I'm really excited to bring him to the Netherlands and to see how that whole journey is going to go. I hope he settles in quickly, but I'm obviously going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to be doing a whole vlog uh, about him arriving uh, and of, about the first week as well. So I guess all we have to do now is wait for uh, Marcel Jordan horse transport to pick him up on Monday. Uh, and then he should be with us either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. So I'm looking forward to having him home and having him close and getting to know him and we're starting to work together. But until then, I guess this is goodbye. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. Uh, this is the last time you'll be seeing, well, Emporio in, in Hello. <laughs> the last time you'll be seeing Emporio uh, here in Portugal, it's kind of bittersweet because Joao has done such an amazing job and I do want to thank him for all his hard work because Emporio has come such a long way. Uh, but I guess mm. now it's time for me to take the rein <laughs> and uh, to try and uh, make sure we get to where we want to get together. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I want to thank you again for joining me on this little adventure and I'll catch you guys in the next video when he arrives in the Netherlands. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.